here at the body shop in East Brunswick New Jersey if you're watching this video you want to learn more about piercing the nostril with a hoop now I know there's gonna to be tons of piercers that say oh you shouldn't start with a hoop listen here's the fact if it's done properly and the right jewelry size is used you're not gonna have an issue as long as you maintain it use proper aftercare and keep it clean you're not gonna have an issue we pierce hundreds of people starting off with hoops they don't have issues Okay, because they take care of it and it's done properly. So I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do it, the proper way to measure it, all that kind of stuff. These are the tools that you're going to need. You got a set of rece uh, receiving tube, a set of forceps, petroleum jelly uh, to lubricate the needle. Always make sure you get uh, a fat receiving tube. All right, makes it a lot easier for the piercing. Alcohol swab. We're going to use a 516 gauge nose hoop. Okay, that's the most common size. You can use a larger one if you choose to and a 20 gauge canola ne uh, needle. Because the piercing, once it's pierced, we're actually gonna insert the jewelry from the inside out, all right? I'll show you exactly how that's done. We went ahead, already uh, swabbed and marked her nose. This is the best spot for her nose, okay? We'll go ahead and get everything ready. Now, when you bend the nose hoop, okay? She's getting it on her right side. So take the right side of the jewelry and push it forward. Because like I said, we're gonna go from the inside out. You wanna take the forceps, clamp it, just like that, right in the middle, okay? And it takes some of the petroleum jelly, put a little bit on the back, take your canola needle, just rub the tip of it through the jelly. Now, when you do this piercing, all right, you want to come in on a side angle because you want the jewelry to sit flush against her nose just like that. You don't want it to be facing this way, so you're not going to go on an angle like that. You're going to take your receiving tube, go perfectly in. Big breath in, big breath out. Pull it out just like that. You're going to go ahead, just feed the tip about that much. Hold it nice and straight. Pull this and push this at the same time. So you're gonna go spin it just like that. You're gonna take the top of it, bring the two ends together, go past it just a little bit because it'll bend right back perfectly straight. Spin it around. Now you have plenty of room for it to move. It's not too tight. It looks perfectly flattering on her nose. I know she Sorry. cried a little bit. No, that's all right. I'm crying for you. <laughs> now, aftercare instructions. Let's make sure you have tissues on hand because you're going to see a lot of tears. As far as aftercare instructions, you're going to wash it once a day with a mild soap, Dove Sensitive Skin, best soap to use. Okay? As always, get Neil Med's Piercing Aftercare Spray. It's hands down the best piercing aftercare spray. Helps it heal a lot faster. It comes in a fine mist. This way it's nice and gentle on the piercing. It's not too strong. Three times a day on the outside and the inside. If you guys have any questions, any concerns at all, you can shoot me a message at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care.